Federal Air Marshal Service. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing the United States Federal Air Marshal Service. The Federal Air Marshal Service is a federal law enforcement agency that falls under the TSA, which falls under the Department of Homeland Security. This is their badge. You may have been on a flight with one of these law enforcement officers before, and you'd never know. If you want to know more about Federal Air Marshals, what they do, who they are, their training, requirements, and much more, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. Air Marshals go on certain commercial flights to protect them anonymously. They blend in, wearing whatever clothing they want, and are allowed to stay at any hotel of their choice to protect their anonymity. Being able to stay anonymous is crucial not only for Air Marshals, but for everybody. Protecting your data is crucial in today's world, especially to us here at General Discharge. NordVPN makes protecting your data easy. With NordVPN, all of your internet data stays safe behind a wall of next-generation encryption. NordVPN can also change your IP address to anywhere in the world, with the ability to connect up to a total of six devices at the same time. Even Tommy is impressed. We have collaborated with NordVPN, today's sponsor, to provide you all with the opportunity to receive a massive discount. 70% off a two-year plan. Insane, we know. With an extra month completely free. All you have to do is visit nordvpn.com slash general discharge. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, that's nordvpn.com slash general discharge. The link is also in the description below because we don't feel like repeating ourselves a third time. So yeah, Federal Air Marshals are hidden on random flights. This is why we said you may have been on a flight with an Air Marshal before, because they are placed on flights to look like any average citizen on board. While you might have flown with one and not know it, chances are you probably haven't. In the United States, less than 1% of flights have an Air Marshal, with approximately 44,000 commercial flights operating every day across the U.S. It's impossible for the Federal Air Marshal Service to place an Air Marshal on every flight. Air Marshals are equipped to operate independently in a highly stressful environment with little or no backup. On duty and in flight, Air Marshals carry a 9mm Glock Gen 5 as of 2020, and they look for suspicious individuals, and ones that may show signs of stress, such as nervousness, twitchiness, being fidgety, or flustered behavior. The TSA reports that a typical Air Marshal flies 181 days each year, spending 900 hours a year, which averages about 5 hours a day in the air. That's a lot of time on a plane. However, the Air Marshals have been used in more than just flights. They have supplemented the TSA's Viper teams since 2004. What are Viper teams, you ask? Viper stands for Visible Intermodal Prevention and Response. Viper teams are teams that consist mainly of law enforcement officers who detain and search travelers at railroad stations, bus stations, ferries, car tunnels, ports, subways, truck way stations, rest areas, and special events. They are located across the country and collaborate with local law enforcement, airport stakeholders, and federal law enforcement partners to support security operations and secure the nation's transportation system. Viper teams are made up of a whole slew of different government and military personnel. They can include members of the Coast Guard, National Guard, Border Patrol, ICE, and much more. Currently, there are approximately 4,000 Air Marshals in the Federal Air Marshal Service. To give you the scoop of where their field offices are, on screen is where they are located. As you can see, they are pretty spread out across the country. Another thing you should note about Air Marshals is their need for firearms proficiency. Think about it. If something goes down on the plane, there's a lot of people bunched up together in a small area. The risk for collateral damage is very high. If the Air Marshal needs to use their weapon, they need to be precise. Because of this, Air Marshals go through extensive firearms training. While we're on the topic of their firearms training, we're going to transition over to the training required for someone to become a Federal Air Marshal. Once we go over the training, we'll go over the requirements as well. The training a Federal Air Marshal candidate has to go through is about 16 weeks in length and has two phases to it. 
The first phase consists of a basic law enforcement course at FLETC in Artesia, New Mexico, as well as the Federal Air Marshal Service Training Program 1 at the same location. After that, they move on to the second phase of training and receive follow-on training at the Federal Air Marshal Service Training Center at the William J. Hughes Technical Center in New Jersey. This is what they learn. Pause the screen to take a longer look. In addition to all of that, a huge emphasis is put on firearms training because as we said before, a lot is at stake on a flight. So, you know the training required to get into the Federal Air Marshal Service, but what are the requirements? These are the requirements to become an Air Marshal. Pause the screen to take a longer look. So there you go. You now know a decent overview of the Federal Air Marshal Service, their mission, training, and requirements to get into it. If you're into learning more about other civilian and law enforcement entities, we've done plenty of videos on them. On screen are all of the videos we've done thus far. There will be a playlist in the description for them. Well, that is the down and dirty of the Federal Air Marshal Service. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button, or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to general discharge and you don't even want to be here.